everybody. How you doing? Welcome back to Airbrusher Games and Art. Hope you're having a good one. Well, here we go with uh, my Sheridan. This is my other new tank. You haven't seen me drive this one yet. I've taken it out a couple of times. And here we are, PVE, doing what I've been touting, telling everybody they should do with their new tanks. And that is uh, roll it through PVE. Excuse me. Until uh, you are, I would say, 90% updated on all your, your stuff. 100% if you really want to have fun, because trust me, uh, you're not going to just do all this and, and once you're done upgrading everything, boom, you're into the next tank and no PV, PVP play in the tank, trust me, you'll get that because uh, you'll upgrade much faster than you'll get out of this these uh, vehicles, especially at this tier. So this is the high explosive missile firing, well you got a choice, uh, HE, heat or missiles, and uh, as you can see I'm loaded with uh, heat but I'm firing HE, and uh, which is it's doing just as spectacular job as it should be 152 millimeters it should be doing a lot of damage I do get quite a few kills which is pretty good but it's one thing that I'm, I'm getting used to is uh, as you do a lot of PVE and you will if you're going to upgrade your tanks the easy way like this and quickly you'll learn the the maps and so what I'm doing my commentating here uh, it's you know I when I'm playing I have fun maybe I should start doing live recording commentary because um, I'm having a good time and having fun but um, it's like you know recording the same tank over and over and over and over you know maybe the first three or four you know you're gonna be excited and look at this look at that and then but after that, you kind of, you're not losing your love for the vehicle, but your commentary starts getting kind of flat. And that's what I'm afraid is happening here because I've done these maps so much now that when I'm done with the game and now I'm doing the commentary, um, I just... I had all the excitement already. You know what I mean? It, it's hard to do the commentary now when you've been on the same map with, you know, five different vehicles, you know, 25 times. You know where everybody's coming from. And, you know, it's just, it's not that I'm not excited or I'm trying to bring you subpar. But honestly, there's, outside of the vehicle itself, there's, you know, it's business as usual. And so maybe this is my, as a content creator, and I almost got really pissed off at that guy driving the UF40 right there. Uh, during the game, I thought he blocked, he hid behind me and blocked me in. It was watching the replay that I saw that I actually, he was offset. And when I was trying to get behind the cover of those big rocks again, I backed into him. So, but during the game, I wanted to just type in chat and give him a hard time, and I would have been totally wrong. So trust your gut because I kept not, not saying anything, not saying anything. I'm just going to play, just going to play. So it was a good thing that that happened that way because it was an accident. But I, in my arrogance or whatever, I thought, you know, he used me as his, as his cover. You know, I was getting all bent out of shape. And here, this guy's got a really big gun and I got a really weak tank. <laughs> so I'm trying to... You stay out of his gun's way by hiding behind something. And you'll do that a lot in the Sheridan. The Sheridan is fast, it's nimble, it turns really well, so doing these kind of small little target things like hiding behind this little tiny sil uh, silo goes a long ways for you. Because you can take advantage of it with the uh, Sheridan. But getting back to what I was saying, um, you know, I've been, I can't remember if this is my, I think this is my second year of doing YouTube. And uh, I love it. 
as I always have and I have said and I've always been doing the same thing on how I, I run my channel and you can go back to all my videos and you can see that I'm doing the same thing but I'm much better at it now so maybe these repetitious maps and tanks are the next form of training for me the next step becoming a better youtuber that that next way to go because um, I got nothing in my bag of tricks to make it sound like you know this is the first thing and it's the best thing since you know sliced bread which is what you got from me when I first started doing it you know first started getting into armored in warfare I fell in love with it first started doing PVE fell in love with it discovered how I can upgrade my tank so easily and quickly in PVE and fell in love with it so I did all that I fell in love and now it's, it's kind of even and the other thing is I'm getting used to having those kind of silent moments in my videos where before I just I had to talk and talk and talk and talk now I can just stop and take a breath and allow you to watch something when I don't have anything to say and this allows I think it allows the video to be better because um, I'm no longer that forced but getting into this repetitious thing um, yeah it gets a little forced and here I keep trying to get over to the west to that square there the last tank that I got to take over uh, oil tank and they just keep spawning I'm having to stop and adjust to the assault and you know the guys on my team are really good unfortunately the Dragoon 90 that's uh, 390 um, got squished uh, and if you if everybody survives um, your on your on your team through the whole battle you get an additional award so you want everybody to live you want it, it makes the teamwork that much more important to help make sure that everybody's working together to get everybody alive on the other side when the, the map ends because it you get a little extra for it, a little extra reward. And that, you know, brings up the other point about the PvE. I think if you guys take my advice, and I know a few of you have started to, to do that, um, when you're having to work at a team level of this level, which you're not going to find in PvE, or sorry, PvP right now, but I think this amount of PvE play from everybody is going to lead to better teams in PvP because you you train yourself or retrain yourself a little bit differently in your play style changes up a little bit. So I've actually, in a weird kind of way, have found since I started doing PvP or PvE predominantly at this time because of all the upgrades I'm trying to do across a whole bunch of vehicles that when I do go into PvP I'm like really bad before I was like middle of the road and had my you know good games but middle of the road and, and my stats will show that I'm very middle of the road but it's been worse lately because I think whatever I was doing in PvP however it was that I reacted with having a team of random players is diminished since I've started doing PvE meaning I've gotten used to a higher caliber a higher level of team play that I have a hard time in PvP because I'll get myself separated I'll get myself alone and I'll look at the map I'm there by myself and there you go so I hope this uh, video is entertaining at the very least for you I hope you had a great time. This is a great tank. I hope you look forward to getting into it. Thanks for listening to me, and I hope I've given you some good advice to take on. Thanks for coming in. I enjoy making these videos for you. Please hit the like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, my friends.